that, uh, that, that their guardians, I mean, the, those who are you have, those who are the senior, uh, you know, the uh, older generation, you have the great knowledge and also experience, and uh, that that needs to be guided. I and mean, you know that you, I mean, this this elder generation like that. I am talking the civil societies. Those who are positive minded. Those who are not biased by the political parties. Uh, those who have the courage to speak the truth. So. Uh, the, and the NGOs people, I think that in civil societies and uh, right-based organization, they they should they should uh, try in each each in, like your organization, Shujon, what they're doing. So if all the you know most of the NGOs, uh, civil societies activists, uh, if they involve the young generation, create some scope for them, I and guide them, I think that it will help. And last talk I want to tell that uh, Rabindranath Tagore what he said our greatest poet, Tegur, and <laughs> he said that Manusher Prati Vishash Harano Pap. It is seen to, uh, you know, uh, to, lose, uh, to lose trust on human being. So, uh, so uh, this is the things that uh, we have to keep trying, and I'm hopeful the darkness will go off and the light will come someday. And we need the younger generation, uh, the countries like ours in South Asia, we need the guidance and uh, your experience uh, to lead us. Thank you very much. Yeah, basically, um, sir, uh, I am agree uh, with you. Young people can um, make heaven and hell both. But and in Indian perspective, I felt that uh, youth have no safe space. Not in political system, but even in NGO and civil society system, we need to create a safe space for them so that they can ask their queries, they, they can clear their misinformation, and they, they can clear their mind. They, we need to ensure that they, uh, what information they are, they are uh, getting, this is, that is right, basically. In my experience, I want to add, um, uh, like, uh, one of lady, uh, uh, which uh, which she asked about the uh, how should like how, what strategy we need to uh, adopt when it's a ban or uh, it's a ban or not allowed in our com country by law. Basically, in India, we are working also on uh, uh, comprehensive sexuality education and with sexuality word in India culturally, it's a the political system and also. Uh, the community uh, community also it's very offended on with the word of sexuality but we view, we use the word health instead sexuality and we work with youth about their issues about their reproductive health and right about their all issues what they need to talk and we create we ensure that there is safe space where they can ask where they can discuss where they can express their uh, opinions, basically. We need to ensure that. Thank you. I did already. I realize there are other questions, uh, other hands up, but we have come to the end of the day, of course. They're going to be here the next, uh, for this evening and tomorrow, and so I'm sure they'd be happy to visit with you privately or in one of the other sessions. I think it was an outstanding panel, so join me in thanking them for their contributions. <laughs> Do we have uh, announcements or anything for people, Mona? Or? Yeah. Okay. The last session with Kailash Satyarthi will start at 6.30 p.m. So please be ready for that. Thank you. Thank you.